So Pete, the 2012 season's just about to get underway. First bounce, two o'clock Saturday, Arvo. What are your thoughts? Can the Spurs go back to back? Look, um, any team that was as dominant as St Albans were the year before can definitely go back to back. Um, but they have lost Shannon and... Um, Shannon McFerrin, yeah, the Shannon, captain. Yeah, Shannon McFerrin, so she'll be a big loss. She's been, you know, that engine for about 10 years and more. And I um, also think Gemma Jones is a, is a big loss for them. Really hard to match up in the 4-9 against Gemma. She's uh, really strong and plays quite above her height and just creates a different mix. Um, Very good player, Gemma. So. Yeah, probably pretty much underrated, I think, throughout her whole career. So I think... They're going to hurt. Yeah. And um, I just look around the rest of the competition and I just see a really even based year this year. So, yes, they can, but it's going to be a hard year to do so. I think they took all before them last year, the way they played and the way they overcame Darabin's game plan. Finally, without you there, Peter, I think, was that the reason? No Darabin, no Peter Searle, no Darabin? Yeah, absolutely not. You know, <laughs> I think Darabin had a pretty turbulent year last year. So the fact that they ended up, um, in the grand final shows that they're great resilience and, you know, they're a really good core group. And now under Richard, who's a very intelligent coach, um, even though Darwin have lost Alicia Habs, who's taken on coaching herself, and um, Anna Swag is interstate at the moment. So, you know, there's the ruck stock has gone down to Asta and Asta only, who's a champion player in herself. But despite those two losses, I think Darwin will be better than they were last year. And, of course, you coached Darabin to, in five years in a row undefeated, where you won five flags in a row from 06 to 2010, which was a phenomenal effort. And so it was a big change for the Falcons last year under a new coach, and then that coach didn't work out, so they got another coach. So it was a whole different kind of scene down there at Darabin last year. Oh, absolutely. You know, if, if you can spend five or six was there for six years, six years in one spot, you know, just being having that stable environment makes makes for success. So to take that away and then to you know readapt and go through what they went through, you know, honestly, while they were very disappointed with their grand final efforts and probably they should have been, um, I think overall they should have been happy the fact that you know they still carried on and Absolutely. made the grand final and you know showed great character. Looking at the he the year ahead, who do you think is going to be the big improvers this year and oh. why? Thanks, Pete. I think that um, I think we'll see some improvement from the Berwick Hawks this year. They've recruited a new coach, Sean Smith, from who's played in the AFL at Melbourne and North Melbourne, and I think he'll bring a different style of game that those girls will have to adjust to. That will take them some time, but I think we'll see some improvement there. Melbourne Uni, with their their culture of developing their own players, youth girls coming through, etc. I think they've got some good young players. I think we'll see because they've been out of the finals action last year they'd been in the finals for something like eight years in a row so they'll be I think someone to watch out for Eastern Devils I expect that we'll see their continued improvement they improved in the last two years only missing a grand final berth in 2010 by a kick I'm definitely with you in terms of the Devils um, it, it's funny when I was coaching I always started pre-season by saying you know you've got to watch out for the Devils you've got to watch out and they never delivered and, um, well, I that's because they I, didn't have you as coach. I think you were interested in going to coach. Yeah, at I was one stage. actually. I was pretty excited about maybe an opportunity to coach that group, but you know, didn't get didn't get asked and ended up at Darabin. And look what's happened. So pretty happy about that, really. But um, you know, they've had some great players, and I honestly felt that they've underachieved for what they've had. But um, this year, I'm going to say it: the Devils are coming. You know, they've had a great physical. Mid, you know, pre-season, and it's not so much, I, I guess, their endurance that's been the issue, but I honestly think it's their belief. Yep. And the fact that they've had a really a hard physical pre-season will help their mental belief that they can take another step further. So, yeah, w wouldn't surprise me if they were, you know, ended up in a grand final this year or, or close or close to it. So the big game on Saturday, round one, VWL Premier Division. It's the replay of the 2011 Grand Final. BU St Albans Spurs taking on Darabin Falcons. Pete, what are your thoughts? Who's going to win this one? I think it's going to be a tight tussle. Maybe I'm biased, and you know, maybe my heart's still. You spent a long time with Darabin, and of course, a lot of my friends play for them, so I'm going for Darabin. Okay, and I'm actually going to tip the Spurs. Yeah. I expect to see a really strong effort from both teams. I think both teams will be. Last year's done and dusted now. Last year's result really counts for nothing starting on Saturday. Um, St Albans have got the flag. They won that. 
But Darabin have got five before that, so it's a whole new ball game. And I'm tipping the Spurs, but I reckon it's going to be a tight game. It's going to be a cracker. So get down, Kings Park, 2 o'clock on Saturday and enjoy a good day of footy.